Hey, good morning Facebook and Instagram and world everyone. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something today that you may not think you need to do and I sure didn't think that I necessarily did. And my coach made me realize that um, it's something that almost everybody can work on which is receiving. Um, I think that I'm a pretty good receiver. I did think that I'm a pretty good receiver. I um, have a lot of really amazing things in my life, not saying that to brag or anything, but you know, I'm very blessed that I have, you know, healthy kids and uh, a nice house, a nice backyard, um, a nice um, <laughs> relationship. That's a weird way to describe it, you know, a great, a great marriage, um, a lot of things. So when my coach said, you need to work on receiving, I was like, ooh, I need to work on receiving, but that seems kind of like, I already have a lot, so why would I want to receive more? And when I really worked on journaling that out and thinking about it, um, I realized that there's a cycle in life, and a lot of times we get stuck because we think, I've received so much, I shouldn't receive anymore. But when you receive, what is the next part of the circle is giving, right? So the more you receive, the more you have to give, right? The more love that you receive from family members and stuff, the more you have welling up within you to share with other people. Because if you're in, like, if your family is a very loving environment, then when you go out into the world, like Walmart, you've already got that love and you can just be kind and people can like feel that love coming off of you. So when you have that coming in you're receiving it you have it to give but if you are in a situation where um your home life maybe isn't so great and you're not feeling loving you're not feeling filled up and then you go out in the world then you're going to come into these situations where you're with the walmart checkout lady and you don't have love to give and she doesn't have love to give and it's not it's not fun it's not fun for anybody right um, and most of us want to make a difference in the world. We want to make an impact in the world. And the more that we receive on every level, the more that we can give. So, you know, with love, the more love that we allow ourselves to receive from other people and ourselves, the more we take that time to fill up um, and love ourselves, the more we can give to somebody else. But if we're not receiving it, um, you know, and like love is... Love is one of the cool examples because you can give it to yourself, right? A lot of them, a lot of things we do have to receive from other people, um, but we won't receive it if we put a block up or a wall up. Um, but love is, it's cool because we can receive it from the divine, from God, from the universe, whatever word works for you, and we can receive it from ourselves, and we can receive it from other people, but just because we're not receiving it from other people doesn't mean that we can't receive it, which to me makes it like one of the coolest things to receive. Excuse me, I've got hiccups or something. Anyway, so yeah, the more that you can receive and fill up that well of love, the more love you have to give. The more that you can receive abundance or just say money, right? Then the more money you have to give to someone else. And that is, oh, <laughs> that's a big question between love and lust. Hmm. Well, I, I think that that like lust is um, more just a physical desire. Um, <laughs> like, and I'm not like one to actually put that in a negative place necessarily. If people are well, I don't know, because sometimes there's kind of ick feelings around lust because it's like you're lusting after something so I almost feel like it it's it's like an energy of you can't have it and you want it so to me um, it's better to have that energy of um, like already having something so I'm sort of going off on a tangent but the energy of having and wanting I feel like that's kind of the difference between love and lust and the sort of a little bit different way but but love is really easy to like feel right now lust is like you're wanting it you're craving it and so with um, like having and wanting 
<laughs> I love Steinmetz. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm going. I may be going off on the wrong question, but um, I think that's a really good something that we can all like tap into. I'm trying to remember Hale Dwoskin. If you're familiar with the Sedona method, he teaches the Sedona method. Um, and that's a method of like letting go of your desires for things and not necessarily that we shouldn't have desires, but it's that attachment to desire that gets us all stuck. Um, so he talks about that and I found it to be very powerful because if you want something, then you can't have it, right? Because if you have it, you're not going to be the, in, in the energy of wanting you're in the energy of having. So if you want to create something more in your life, um, the, I don't know if I want to say trick, but one of the things to do is to feel that energy of having it. Um, because as long as you're keeping thinking about something that you want, you hold it at a distance from you. And so even with receiving, you can just um, think about yourself as a person who is open to receive and receives lots of love and money and um, connections and all good things from the universe. Um, you know, and there's so many different ways to receive. Money is a big one because in our society, then that's a big impact because if you receive money, then you can um, purchase things which give somebody else money. Um, I always like, sometimes people be like, oh, why would you buy that expensive thing? And I'm like, because somebody made that expensive thing and somebody is employed by the people who make those expensive things. So you're blessing other people when you circulate your money. So receiving money is, you know, a lot of people want to put it as like, oh, that's not spiritual, it's, uh, uh, uh. you know, they don't want that energy. But the more money you receive, the more money you have to give out in the world. And I think every time, everybody knows that story of like money is just um, a form of energy exchange that we put into like a physical um, you know piece of paper that we can hand off and say hey I'm giving you this much energy um, which part of body can feel love gosh I don't know I think you can feel it with um, your whole body your whole soul um, I think you can vibrate with love. Um, I like to, if you've ever seen the tuning forks, have one that is tuned to the frequency of like, I, they call it the frequency of love, maybe it's the heart chakra, I'm not 100% sure, but like boom, and that energy. You can feel it tingling from your head to your toes and out into, um, I guess your astral body. I'm not super um, sure exactly how that works, but, um, yeah, I think that I think that we can feel emotions anywhere in our body. Um, even like you know, you can feel fear and pain in your chest. You can feel love in your chest. You can feel like freedom of emotion and love and connectedness in your throat chakra, or you can feel constriction. So I feel like you can feel emotions everywhere. Um, and I don't know, I kind of got off a little on the topic, but that's fine. I think though that um, receiving is something that can be a spiritual thing because it opens you up to that cycle of receiving and giving. And then once, once you receive and you give, then you have that opportunity to receive again. And it kind of just goes around in a big circle the circulation of love in the universe or you know love money abundance connections um so i would invite you to um look at yourself and see um it's really fun to journal and ask yourself um where do i not allow myself to receive or how can i open up my open myself up to receive more um those are some good questions to journal around and sometimes we're really good at receiving in one area and not so good at receiving in another area. Like you might be um, really good at receiving money, but not so good at receiving love or vice versa. So um, I would invite you to journal about that and kind of play around and see what you think about it. Also, um, 
one way to open up yourself to receiving more is to request more. Ooh, right? I hate doing that. <laughs> so I've been practicing that. I've been making a practice in my life and now I'm seeing I love to request things. And energetically, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm keep practicing and keep practicing until I learn to love to request things. So for me, some of the ways that I play with requesting things, because one thing that you can receive is um, just help and assistance, right? You can receive somebody doing something for you. So a lot of times I've been like trying to go through my day, um, making it a practice of requesting like at least three things from other people during the day. Like um, asking um, my children to go get something for me and bring it to me. Um, if I go to a hotel, I always call down and ask for something and it seems maybe diva-ish, but it's really just for that purpose of training myself to request um, things of other people because I tend to be the people pleaser and want to give, give, give. But you cannot, you, you will, you know, you're just gonna be a dried out shell if you give, give, give. It doesn't work that way. Life, um, you have to have that balance of giving and receiving. And so the more you receive, the more you can give. And you know, like sometimes you're in such a vibe or you've practiced stuff and you just receive really easily. But sometimes you have to train yourself to request because a lot of times, you know, the universe is a self-serve place. And if you want something, a lot of times you'd have to ask. I know, right? It's crazy. Um, our mind is not always read by um, other people. And so you have to learn how to get really comfortable um, and politely making requests. And then showing so much gratitude, like true heartfelt gratitude for people um, meeting those requests. So, yeah, that's a, a game that I like to play that you may want to try. Give it a try and see if you can, um, even you may want to just see like how often do I request things of people and how do I feel when I request things? Like do I feel nervous that they're going to say no? Do I feel like maybe I shouldn't ask? Am I putting this person out? Um, and also, and also, um, maybe also saying no to some requests and being quite okay with the fact that other people may say no to your requests. Um, I really think that in a lot of places people live in such an extreme people pleasing mode that a lot of us say no to things that we should say yes to and yes to things that we should say no to and that kind of messes up like the whole receiving stream because different people are they're being in places that aren't their places right? And if it's not your place, then that means it's somebody else's place um, to do that job or task. And you have a different job or task to do. So how do you know what that is? I think you really just tune into your gut and your intuition and see how it feels. Um, whether or not, you know, does this feel good to me? Is this something I want to give? Is this something I want to receive? Um, and the more you practice it, the easier it gets. So check in with yourself and see, are you making um, enough requests in your life? And if you're not, come up with a plan. Like maybe just track yourself starting out and see, like how many times do I request something of somebody each day? And how can I request more and receive more and give more? It just, it flows that way. Um, so yeah, I think you should all receive more. <laughs> and um, while I have you here, I just wanted to let you know also um, that I'm requesting people to go check out my new premium members lab for members of premium members of Daily Alchemy. Daily Alchemy um, dailyalchemy.com is the website I run. It has lots of free stuff, um, blog posts and podcasts and there are videos, lots and lots of free things. And the new membership lab also has free things. There are free classes there, free PDFs there. Um, and then there is there are paid options too. And so, um, yeah, go check it out. The link is in the um, notes here. So. I just um, invite you to check that out and uh, let me know what you think 
and make any requests for things that I might add to it to make it better. All right, have a magical day and I'll see you next time.